All right, it brings me no joy in saying this, but the age of the lens is dead. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, the lens has been power creeped the ever loving crap out by the Kuva Brahma, and the Brahma does everything that the lens can do only better. So, for example, using a very specific build, we have these eight level 100 corrupted heavy gunners. With one bomb, we have killed at least one of them. With two bombs, we've killed two of them. Three. We're up to four. And with three bombs, we kill all of them? Question mark? Oh, that one's being particularly stubborn. So, one, two, three, about four. Okay? And we're very much using this specific build, which is a stock standard Hunter Munitions critical build. Critical mods, uh, viral damage, vile acceleration, Hunter Munitions. Vile acceleration is actually quite useless on the Kuva Brahma because the Kuva Brahma already has a really, really fast fire rate. It will make more sense to use something like Prime Fast Hands, which is what I normally use. Okay. The reason why we're going to use a build like that on the Kuva Brahma is because when we compare it to something like the Lens, we are comparing it to this build, which is exactly the same. Viral damage, uh, critical damage, vile acceleration, hunter munitions, and we're also even using a mag of serration to do all that stuff. So I guess the exact same level 100 corrupted heavy gunners. First bomb. Doesn't do a whole lot. Namely because of the low status chance. Still doesn't do a whole lot. Third bomb. Finally we get a viral proc, and the ones who got viral proc should probably be dead real soon. Oh, there's one. Four. Basically five, six. And we've already run out of arrows by the way. So the Groove of Rammer not only does more damage, it actually has more ammo in the tank. I have to switch weapons now. That's basically the idea. Okay, so there's a couple of other reasons why the Kuva Brahma just completely outperforms the lens. The first thing is that the Kuva Brahma is capable of doing hybrid builds because of its rather high status chance. Despite the fact that the Kuva Brahma does have less critical chance than the lens, by using point strike vital sense, you only get 87.5 as opposed to the lens's 125%, which is the same as the dread. This, of course, being comparable to the Sonos Prime, doesn't matter because having a even slightly high status chance is evidently enough to deal with all of the things that the lens just can't deal with. Okay, so by doing something like this, like I said, critical stat hybrid, this is simply impossible to use on the lens. There's no way you would be able to get gas procs on the lens in an even remotely reliable fashion. And by using gas procs on the Cooper Brahma, obviously things get even faster. Exactly. And then those two are just being particularly stubborn. That's about it. You can't do that on the lens. The status chance just does not allow for it. So this would be the build that I'd normally play around with, just cause. Let's just compare this build to the lens build that I normally used with the Riven, and let's just see which one goes faster. So this would be the hypercritical viral build. Four, five bombs that should do the trick. Whereas with the lens, using this particular build that has lens Krita Mag, bringing the critical chance all the way up to 195%, it's going to take us a lot more than five arrows to blow up all of these corrupted heavy gunners. In fact, I can't actually kill these corrupted heavy gunners with six arrows. They still have a lot of health left. Now that being said, there is one main advantage that the lens still has over the Kruva Brahma and that is its range. In the sense that if we were to stand all the way back here and we want to aim at these corrupted heavy gunners, we basically aim ever so slightly above them and that'll hit them. 
In other words, lens bombs do travel in a reasonably straight line, so that's pretty damn good. However, honestly, I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. First off, this really only comes into play on a very few amount of maps, as secondly, it only really ever comes into play in like Plains of Eidolon or or Valus or any other open world map when you have a ton of space to use. So in the meantime, when we aren't in the Plains of Eidolon or the Orb Valis, we could just learn to aim ever so slightly higher. So I think around about here this should do it. Nope. Higher. Yep, there we go. So you kind of just get used to this and uh, suddenly the whole range thing from the lens doesn't seem nearly as important. Furthermore, if you find that you are aiming too high and you overshoot, you can always detonate earlier. So, you know, the Kuva Brahma basically has everything ready to go. It's quite a very, very powerful weapon. Just don't hit a wall. That's basically it. So, pretty much, I hope this demonstrates why the lens is effectively power creeped out of relevancy now. It's really unfortunate. If DE were to give the lens a buff, then we could really go into comparing the two weapons again and see whether or not those buffs would actually be enough to make the weapons compete with each other in a more interesting fashion. But until then, the Kuva Brahma just outshines it. And that's before, of course, we go into the whole fact that the Kuva Brahma can go all the way up to level 40. Remember, the Battle of the Bows build, this stock standard hunter munitions crit build, still has a whopping 10 capacity left, and that's only at level 38. I haven't bothered to bring it up to rank 40 yet because there's no real need for me to bring it up to rank 40 at this present moment. Whereas the lens, only sitting at rank 30, this build pretty much uses all except for like maybe two mod capacity. So yeah, we're not even taking that into account really. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any thoughts, do you use the Kufa Brahma in a different way? I have heard that people tend to use corrosive damage on it. Fair enough. I personally don't. I never did, never will. So that's just how I am. But if you use corrosive damage, it's pretty much the same idea, whether it is using it on the lens or using it on the Kufa Brahma. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!